We're gonna give you the best lower body strength exercises for boxing, and we're gonna start right now. Okay, so the first exercise that we're gonna give you is going to be a sweet movement that you can load and even be in a relatively safe position. So if we're thinking about boxing, we're gonna have that staggered stance in 95% of the time when we're inside of the ring. And so if we can strengthen that position, we can then work on having greater power output from our feet into our gloves. And so that first exercise is going to be a split stance trap bar deadlift. And what I wanna do is I wanna have my back foot, have my toe in line with my heel here. Okay, and I'm gonna get set and I'm gonna drive up fast. Okay, here, boom, boom, one more, boom, okay. So I did four on that left foot. I'm gonna go in the same position here and I'm gonna go four on my right foot. Now, one of the big factors is that when you're doing this, think about having about 60% of the load on that front foot. And if we're looking at boxing, we are training to improve that relative strength. We are in a weight class sport. So we can't get too crazy hypertrophic. We're also in a sport that could go 10 to 12 rounds. So we need to develop strength, but we don't wanna get super, super big looking like a bodybuilder. We want to be explosive, we wanna be strong, but we wanna have those lean gains. So use this five, six sets, three to four reps each side to increase that leg strength for boxing. Okay, so that second exercise is probably gonna be a movement that you've never seen before. And a lot of boxers, you don't like to lift weights. But if we can get your legs a little bit stronger, you're gonna have greater power output from your hands. Impulse expression from your hands equals knockouts. That's why you're not knocking anybody out. You don't wanna lift any weight. So we're gonna do a death march here, okay? And again, remember, we're not training you to be a bodybuilder. We're trying to get you stronger here in that posterior chain in your hips so that you can then apply a large amount of force. So we almost want to do a walking RDL, but this is known as a death march. So from the side, I would take a step, come forward, come up. I'm going to take a step, come forward, come back up. And this is going to be very similar to that split stance trap bar deadlift. We want about 60 to 65% of our load on that front foot. And then as we come back up, okay, I wanna think squeeze from my glute, squeeze from my hamstring, and now think about that power output coming from the hip. Do this for three to four sets, and you can even pair these together to get a little bit more explosive from that posterior chain. Okay, so part of getting stronger is being able to absorb force and to generate force very, very quickly. So one thing that we can get creative with is add in a type of plyometric. I like to use different styles of plyometrics at different speeds, at different joint angles, so that we can then elicit a better adaptation, a broader adaptation. And you can use this with contrast methods, okay? So you could even pair this with one of the other exercises that we're providing you. Now, what I wanna do, because we're in boxing and we're gonna be rotating quite a bit, I want to be explosive in that rotation. So in this case, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a side quiz jump. So I'm here, my back foot cannot get down. One of the big things that I see with boxers, the reason why you guys don't like to lift is that sometimes you feel self-conscious. You're a little weak, you feel bad, and you don't want other people to see your weakness. That's part of why you're in fighting. But if you get better at this, you'll become a better fighter. So what we can do here, we can get a little bit of a stretch shortening cycle here, okay? I'm gonna plant and I'm gonna drive towards you and give a little bounce. So I'm gonna go here, boom, 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 okay? I'm gonna go back and we wanna be very, very explosive here, okay? I wanna get set, boom, 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 okay? And we can work through this, build up. And we wanna do both sides, all right? One more, I'm gonna go here, so I'm gonna go plant, boom, boom. Okay, you do five sets, go one quiz jump to one bound, make sure you're doing each side, you're being twitchy and you're reacting very quickly. I would recommend doing this in a contrast setup so you can really, really develop that elastic feeling that then leads to a bigger punch. Okay, these next two movements are absolutely fantastic. And again, we want to think about rotational strength from the legs. Okay, and one of the big factors that you're gonna see here is that trunk control. So the more rigid we can make our trunk, the more power we can put into the hands and the more power we'll have from the ground into the hands. So 
This movement is going to be a rotational walking lunge. I'm gonna go here, just like this. Oh, but don't fall over. That wasn't trunk control. Here, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that's nice and deep and you get a good stretch. Okay, you're gonna feel that in that posterior chain quite a bit. I'm gonna go back and demonstrate that again because that felt pretty good. Here, and you don't have to go full range of motion with the lunge, but we're gonna go like boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Now, that takes us to the box. Okay, so we're gonna go walking lunges with that little rotation. Let's say we're doing that for a set of four to each side, five to each side, something like that. The next thing that we can do, we can get here. We've got our dumbbells, drive up, boom, back up, boom, back up, boom, back up, okay? I wanna feel nice and twitchy off that foot, boom. Now, to finish this little setup, Put them down, come back on the box. Twitchy, boom, boom, boom. Try and improve that force output. A lot of you guys tend to be a little bit rigid and you don't know how to transfer that strength from your feet into the gloves. So you can use these two exercises for that rotational balance, that rotational stability, that dynamic trunk control. Then you can do a little bit of a dumbbell step up into a jump step up, which is gonna help you become more athletic and more coordinated. So if you guys need help with your training, head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, or the Apple iOS, or you can go in and, and actually select combat sports. Inside combat sports, select boxing, so that you can have that knockout power. Because remember, freaks, if you wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.